Hi everyone, it's Thomas from 2 Minutes by My Watches. Today I'm going to show you a beautiful chronograph from Wishdoit, whose name is GT40. Let's go. Have you already heard about Wishdoit? I had, but only recently. Yet the brand has been created in 2012 and since had released more than 10 models, proving that they are an established brand. They say that they believe every watch should be a statement piece, reflecting the unique style and personality of its owner. Something hard to do in this very competitive market, but let's take a look at this GT40 to see how they made it. So this is a chronograph, another parallel between car racing and watchmaking, but this one is kind of special. At this price, we are used to have a certain traditional kind of cases and dials. If you take a look at the back, you can see it is a screwed down case back. Hmm, for some people it's just a detail, but it's all in the details. The case itself is really surprising at this price point. In a good way, because it is skeletonized. And what a job, it's the first time I've seen one this beautiful, well done wish to it. Some might say that the case and buttons are deeply similar to that of Angelus. Perhaps we could speak of homage, but the similarities end there. The chronograph buttons are well finished and easy to use. The crown is decorated and has a good grip. And here are the sides and the hollowed out lugs. Workmanship and finish I've never seen in this price range. The chrono buttons are smooth and responsive and you can time 60 minutes displayed on the 9 hours subdial. When I speak about details, you can see that the buckle is signed. The dial may seem a little busy because it contains so much details, but that's what makes it unique. It is composed of multiple levels, date wheel, subdials with brushed edges, decorative grid, bridges, chapter ring and integrated indexes. The subdials look like car speedometers, perfect for the watch theme. The handset is gutted, discreet and pretty. It fits very well the watch. The finishing is very good for the price and if you see some irregularities, don't forget it's on macro shots. The rest is a matter of taste, but the finish and rendering are very good. I like the kind of brushed bridges on top and bottom of the dial. I think that brings it balance. I like less, however, the fact that we see the date wheel so much, but some people like it. Look at the different height levels. Of course, there are some flaws, like the weak loom, but it's not a dive watch and it's understandable at the price. And for the little circumference wrist, the 43mm diameter and 50.5mm lug to lug tip can be too much. This is how it looks on my 19.5cm wrist, or should I say 7.7 inches circumference wrist. And this one is the supplied nylon slash leather strap. The watch is available on their website for around 170 euros with two color choices. My advice is to take a look at their website because in addition to this GT40, the Aristos and the X series seems really well done too. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and commenting it, subscribing my channel, blah blah blah. Bye!